Let us say simply that the Force is something a Jedi must deal with. While it has never been properly explained, scientists have theorized it is an energy field generated by living things. Early man suspected its existence, yet remained in ignorance of its potential for millennia. Only certain individuals could recognize the Force for what it was. They were mercilessly labeled charlatans, fakers, mystics, and worse. Even fewer could make use of it. As it was usually beyond their primitive controls, it frequently was too powerful for them. They were misunderstood by their fellows, and worse. The Force surrounds each and every one of us. Some men believe it directs our actions, and not the other way around. Knowledge of the Force and how to manipulate it was what gave the Jedi his special power. The Force is in the mind, Luke, and can sometimes be used to influence others. It's a powerful ally. But as you come to know the Force, you will discover that it can also be a danger. The Force is omnipresent. It envelops you as it radiates from you. A Jedi warrior can actually feel the Force as a physical thing. It is an energy field and something more, an aura that at once controls and obeys. It is a nothingness that can accomplish miracles. No one, not even the Jedi scientists, were able to truly define the Force. Possibly no one ever will. Sometimes there is as much magic as science in the explanations of the Force. Yet what is a magician but a practicing theorist? You must try to divorce your actions from conscious control. Try not to focus on anything concrete, visually or mentally. You must let your mind drift, drift. Only then can you use the Force. You have to enter a state in which you act on what you sense, not on what you think beforehand. You must cease cogitation, relax, stop thinking. Let yourself drift, free, free. One can teach only so much. Now you must learn to admit the Force when you want it, so that you can learn to control it consciously. With the Force, you didn't really see the Seeker when it went for your legs the last time, and yet you parried its beam. Try to let that sensation flow within you again. This is the only way to be certain you're relying wholly on the Force. Once you start to trust your inner self, there'll be no stopping you. Luke, you've taken the first step into a larger universe. Trust in the Force, Luke.